Okay, everybody, what you're looking at right now is my birthing plan. Um, I'm going to go over this step by step um, and walk you through how and why and all that. So, here I am. I'm just making these videos back to back because I'm very behind. Um, number one thing. I want help with breastfeeding, but only if it's needed. So, if um, Olivia has issues latching or whatever, I do want that help. Um, I want to deliver the placenta naturally. I did look into, like, placenta encapsulation and stuff, but I decided against that, especially with the hospital that I'm going to. Um, I want my mom, my dad, and Jamal in the birthing room with me. However, the day that I do go into labor, Jamal was only getting one phone call. And if he doesn't answer that phone call, then that's his fault for missing out because I made my attempt. If anybody thinks I'm wrong for that, feel free to, like, voice your opinion to me. But I figure one phone call is enough and that one phone call should be answered because around this time, anything's an emergency. Um, if he's not there, I want my little sister in there with me. Um, during contractions, I would like to be able to listen to an iPod or have some form of entertainment, um, for a form of distraction. Um, if Jamal's there, I don't want him to leave the room at all. Um, I don't want medical students at my birth, which is going to be something extremely hard to get around because the hospital that I'm going to is mainly medical students, and I would rather just have... Everybody who knows what they're doing, doing what's supposed to be done. Um, I want to naturally induce myself if needed. I want to avoid Pitocin at all costs. Um, I want to wait and I want to be able to ask for pain relief. I don't want it pressed on me because I feel like if it's pressed on me, then I may possibly feel obligated to get it. And I want to go as natural as possible. Um, I want to go without, if I do get any form of pain relief, it will be an epidural, but I am also against the epidural, and I want to go without that for as long as possible, so if I get an epidural, it will only be because it's what's needed. Um, mm, as I said, epidural is okay if the pain is too much. If I have a cesarean, I want Jamal to be with me. If Jamal's not there, I want my mother to be with me. Um, the only position that I want to give birth in will be on my back, of course, if some other position um, is more comfortable at the time. I fully expect to be able to move into whatever position I want to be in. Um, I want to avoid an episiotomy, but if that happens, then it happens. Um, I would like to be able to see my baby's head being delivered. Um, I do not want the baby placed directly on my abdomen. Um, I want Jamal to cut the umbilical cord and I want him to be the first to hold her just because I feel in some way that that's important, especially with it being a little girl. I think it's right that her, her father gets to hold her first. I just wish that he were also more involved in the pregnancy and more involved with her for me to stick to that decision, but that's what I've decided and if he's there that's what will be done. If he's not there then I still feel that a man should be the first to hold her and with that being said since my dad would be in the room it would be her grandfather to cut the cord and her grandfather would be the first to hold her. So that's the birth plan um, so far and uh, if anybody has any questions feel free to ask. Bye.